meanwhile have wandered into a completely abandoned major metropolitan area of a large city, where we find them seated at the console of a huge computer. They are seeking to locate and isolate the exact frequency used by Psykill and Dr. Braxis in their pulsar generating machine, so that they can effectively neutralize its power over AJ and the entire world population. Finally, Scooter places the finishing touches on the frequency neutralizing device and places it in the ear of AJ, who instantly comes out of her zombified trance. What's going on here? Where are we? Where's Matt and, and, and Leader One? Suddenly, the stillness of the city is broken by the sound of approaching helicopter. As our heroes leave the electronic center, they discover the renegade fleet descending upon them like a cloud of locusts. There they are, renegades. Attack. Push them out. A mammoth battle erupts between our heroes and the renegade forces. Turbo manages to down one of the helicopters. He is amazed to find that Matt Hunter is the pilot. Look, it's Matt. He must have been zombified too. Unable to escape above ground, the Guardians seek refuge in the underground subway system, carrying Matt with them. Put me down! Put me down! We've got to get one of these neutralizing devices in Matt's ear, Scooter. Matt, upon receiving a pulsar neutralizer, is astonished at finding himself in the midst of the battle. You mean the only thing standing between sanity and zombie land is this plug stuck in my ear? Our heroes are once again safe in the city's underground subway system. Above ground, Copter and Tank survey the immense rubble-strewn crater that was once the subway station. They are convinced that the Guardians have perished beneath and call off the pursuit. Back at Cheyenne Mountain, Psykill gloats over the highly classified information which he has taken from Leader One. There! We're all done, Leader One. Thanks to you, I have all the locations of the Guardian defense bases on Gopatron. I know all of your strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> we will stop you yet, Psykill. My, my, such confidence. You might be interested to know that Scooter and Turbo have finally been destroyed. Oh, oh no. Braxis, program the Zard Armada for the assault on Gobatron. Why, of course I kill, without delay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Leader One and I are going for a little ride. Psykill, with his captive leader One, heads the captured command center toward a remote airbase where Crasher is supervising the frenzied activity of the zombified human army. Suddenly, she receives a call announcing that Psykill is on his way to personally inspect the progress. Crasher assures him that they are almost finished placing the completed Zods in formation. She is unaware that two jeeps have pulled inside an empty hangar nearby. Once inside, we see that the jeeps lose their holographic disguise and become Scooter and Turbo. So that's what Psykill has planned. It's like an army. Yeah, more like an invasion fleet. See any renegades? Yeah, there's Crasher. Looks like she's running things here. And look, over there is Dr. Turganova. Oh my gosh, look! There's the Guardian Command Center. Look who just arrived. It's Psykill! As you can see, Psykill, the final Zods are being put into place and ready for launching. Uh -huh. Excellent! Good work, Crasher! <laughs> Now's our chance to get the Command Center back. I'll create a diversion while you guys sneak inside. And while you do that, I'll see if I can rescue Dr. Turganova. Scooter, toss me one of those neutralizers. Look, Crasher, it's Turbo. I was told he was destroyed. After him! He must not escape this time. Changing into vehicular form, Psykill and Crasher charge after Turbo, laser beams blasting. At the same time, Matt Hunter reaches Dr. Turganova and places a pulsar neutralizer in her ear. 
Turbo fires an energy blast into the massive head of one of the Zods lined up in formation, causing it to crash into the next Zod. Then, one by one, the Zods begin to fall, producing a domino chain reaction effect through the entire formation. No! All of our work! Stop him! Meanwhile, Turbo's successful diversionary tactics allow Scooter and AJ to sneak aboard the Guardian Command Center. They are amazed to discover a weak and immobile Leader One. Scooter? Scooter? Is that... is that you? Leader One? Look! He's alive! Leader One? You don't look so good. I'll have you out of here as soon as I can figure out the release mechanism. Suddenly, our heroes are startled by the metallic grinding of a sliding door. Up in the cockpit, Psykill has entered the command center, and pressing several buttons, starts up the mighty engines. Soon, the command center blasts into the sky. The sound of Psykill's approaching footsteps alarms Leader One. Forget about me. You've got to take cover quickly. I will not have my timetable upset. We must reposition the Zords at once. The attack on Gobatron will proceed as planned. Well, Leader One, your guardians have temporarily upset my schedule, but not for long. <laughs> oh, no. And now, it's time for us to part company. I have decided to give you to Zod. By now, he must be very hungry. <laughs> you should make a tasty morsel for one such as he. <laughs> you may destroy me, Psykill, but other guardians will follow. Mark my words. This is the end of story record number four. If you wish, please check at your local record store for the fifth and final record in this series titled The Final Conflict.